Hey everyone, welcome back to CAD Show, your go-to channel for all things CAD and SketchUp. I'm your name, and today, we're diving into something super exciting. How to insert a mountain into your SketchUp models. Whether you're working on a landscape project, or just want to add a touch of nature to your designs, this tutorial is perfect for you. Alright, let's get started. First, we need to open SketchUp and create a new project, or open an existing one where you want to add the mountain. Let's go! Step 1. Head over to the File menu and select Gill Location, and then Add Location. This is where we can grab real world terrain data directly into SketchUp. Next, use the map to find the location of the mountain you want to insert. For this tutorial, we'll use the mount, zoom in, and adjust the selection box to cover the area of the mountain you want to import. Once you've selected the area, click Import. SketchUp will then load the terrain data into your model. Now you can see it is in to D to convert into 3D click on window and under the default try check the tag menu. After that in tag click in the location terrain and unhide the to D by clicking in location snapshot and now you can see it in 3D mode. Using the scale tool we can gently raise and lower parts of the terrain to make our mountain look more natural. Simply click and drag on the terrain to shape it as you like. Now that we have our terrain it's time to refine it. Sometimes the imported terrain might be too detailed or not detailed enough, depending on your needs. We can adjust the level of detail by using the joint push-pull tools. And there you have it, a beautiful, realistic mountain right in your SketchUp model. You can further enhance it by adding textures, trees, and other landscape elements. Wasn't that easy? With just a few steps, you can bring any piece of the world's terrain into your SketchUp projects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tips and tricks from CAD Show. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.